Hey, I finally got my boat on the water. It took me a while this year. It's been really cold and windy spring, so I took my time. It's still leaking water. You know, it's a wooden boat, so it takes a while, a few days, maybe a week, before the wood expands to be really watertight. But I got a motorcycle battery and a bilge pump, and those seem to take care of the buoyancy. I also already made one photo trip, and this time I did as I preached, I kept it extremely simple. Just one single camera, one lens, one type of film, and only four frames. I took my Graflex Speed Graphic camera where I have attached an enlarger condenser lens. You know, I, I found this lens on a flea market a few years ago, and then I made an attachment so that I can attach it to my speed graphics. If you are interested in this lens, I made an entire video about it. I put the link to the description page and up there, so if you are interested in this technical marvel. Um, and then for the film I chose uh, Formapan 100. I like this a lot. Black and white, fine grain film. And then as I said, four frames. So let's get on the boat and see what happened. pictures and they they are all pretty okay I'm pretty pleased high success rate hey I've been using this much more than I originally thought I thought that this is just a gimmick and it's gonna you know I grow tired of it but no I've been using it more than I thought see uh, I like certain aspects in my photographs first of all I like space uh, I like uh, emptiness so and if I have a subject in my picture I rather take a few steps back and then get more of that space into my pitch and then what I don't like are things that don't belong into my pictures say uh, for example for my street photography I 
I hate all the modern cars, all the Toyotas and Hondas that sneak into my pictures because I don't think they belong there. And then if I'm on the lake there are now a couple of new apartment buildings and they try to get into my pictures and I don't like them. So both for space and cleaning up the clutter this is an excellent lens. It's a wide-angle lens so I get a lot of space and then it's really blurry at the edges where uh, those additional things might show up. But now it's so fuzzy that even if there is an apartment building or whatever it, you should not recognize it. So it both gives me the space and then it cleans up the space. <laughs> Pretty neat actually. And I always like a lens camera combination that has a significant or, or, or clear um, signature look, like leaves its mark. Now somebody might ask me like how do you take a picture with this one? So it's, it's actually pretty straightforward but it has a few steps. So first I um, open the shutter and then I focus through the crown glass. And, and then when I got it focused I lock the rail so that it doesn't move. Now, now I need to pay attention to where I was when I focused it because now it's focused and locked so I can't move anymore. Then I um, set the time for the shutter. I think it was one uh, two fiftieth of a second uh, on the lake. Then I put in <laughs> the film. I take out the dark slide, then I take off my eyeglasses, then I compose and look at the frame, and I take a picture, put my eyeglasses back and then put on the dark slide. Yeah, it might sound a bit complicated but through dedication and training and hard work I managed to master it so that it actually is pretty automatic nowadays. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do if you want to do it. <laughs> hey, so thanks for joining me on the first boat ride this year. Uh, we didn't drown, we didn't uh, fall into the water and we didn't drop the camera, so all is fine. We got a four pretty neat pictures. Next time something else, let's be careful out there. <laughs> See you later. Yeah.